Uh, we have one shot of this, but I know it's going to be great. For nailing your brews with a washed Kenya. This is like the simplest brew recipe ever. I'm Dario from Bluebird Coffee Roastery and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite coffees of all time, Kamwangi AB, or coffee from the Kamwangi factory in uh, Kenya. This is a washed um, mixed varietal coffee, SL28, SL34, Ryu, Ryu, Ryu 11, um, and Batian. And it's absolutely spectacular. I think this is the fourth season working with coffee from Kamwangi. And if you haven't watched Al Gatamboya, video. Um, you might not know that this is the first year we've been able to buy directly from the exporter and get to choose, we got to choose from a much wider range of coffees from the same factory and we've chosen the absolute best lots in my opinion. Um, this particular coffee went out to our subscribers at the beginning of August. It's already available on our web store so if you're watching this and hopefully it's still available go and grab a bag off our web store. Um, this is the way I would approach any washed Kenyan with the Aeropress. Why the Aeropress? I find that this particular brewer just excels with, with washed, juicy, acidic coffees. That is where I enjoy using it the most. We don't brew with it in the roastery or in the cafe at all. In our cafe, we use the April Brewer exclusively for all our filter coffee. Um, so I had to go scrounging around for bits and pieces of the Aeropress today and found everything I need, but <laughs> I found literally one filter paper. So uh, we have one shot at this, but I know it's going to be great because I've brewed probably thousands of cups of washed Kenyan coffee through the Aeropress. So my recipe is pretty stock standard. Um, it never really changes. All I'll do is tweak my grind setting ever so slightly. Um, I have ground this coffee on our beautiful EK43 from Alkunig. You probably don't have, don't have one of those at home. If you do, you're very, very lucky. But if you don't and you're grinding on your home grinder, I'd be going somewhere like around a medium coarse grind setting. On my Commandante, I would be at about 24 clicks. And unfortunately, I can't really give you guidelines on other grinders right now. But 24 clicks on the Commandante, you'll be in a pretty good spot. We're going to brew this coffee using the upright or traditional method. Um, I'm going to screw my filter paper on here and I'm not going to rinse my filter paper. If you can perceive the taste of an Aeropress, unrinsed Aeropress filter paper in a brewed cup of coffee, you have an incredible palate and uh, kudos to you. I cannot, so I'm not going to bother rinsing it. This is like the simplest brew recipe ever. This is how we brew coffee on the floor of airports, traveling around the world, in our kitchen, at home, in, not in the cafe, because we, we don't use Aeropress in the cafe, but if we did use it in the cafe, this is how we would brew it, and it's super simple. So I'm going to add all 16 grams of coffee at once. We're going to use 220 grams of water, and I'm going to add all of that at once as well. So I'm going to start my timer and I'm going to pour as quickly as this kettle allows. So if you have a, um, if you bring it home and you have a traditional uh, kettle, not a gooseneck, it's even better because you'll get the water in even faster. So once I've got all my water in, I'm going to grab my stirrer. I tend to do five stirs. I'm going to take that off my scale because I don't want to put any pressure, any unnecessary pressure on my scale. And I'm going to pop my plunger in. What that's going to do is create a vacuum so the um, liquid can't escape the Aeropress. Some would have gone through and to be honest with you when I first started brewing coffee on the Aeropress I absolutely hated the upright method because I thought it just doesn't make sense that we're allowing water to flow through and then some water not to flow through and then we're going to push it all through at the end. I just preferred the inverted method because we had more control but Ever since watching Tim Wendelbo brew this way and then working with this recipe, tweaking it to make it the way I really enjoy drinking coffee, um, it's become my staple, my staple recipe. So we're at a minute. Um, at one minute 30, I'm going to take the plunger out. I'm going to stir five times again, plunger back in and press slowly for 30 seconds, giving us a total brew time of around two minutes. That's another thing I love about the Aeropress is that it's really, really quick and you know, bring back-to-back -back Aeropresses is no problem. Although I see they have launched the large Aeropress now, so I'm keen to get my hands on that and give it a whirl. Um, but here we are, one minute 30. And we're going to press 
nice and slowly. The reason I want to press slowly is, first of all, to standardize your brew every time. So if you're giving yourself 30 seconds to press through, you're going to have a very similar brew each time. Um, but also if you push too hard, I find that you know some fines get through, um, we end up with some grounds in our cup. And also if you press really, really hard, you can displace the filter, which I've done a few times, and that just creates a big mess. So you don't want to do that. Okay. The super simple AeroPress recipe for nailing your brews with a washed Kenyan. I don't think it could be much easier than that. And this is the brew method that I recommend to people who are wanting to get into coffee. You don't want to faff around with, you know, tons of kettles and scales and all kinds of stuff that you need to brew filter coffee using a pour over. Um, you can kind of nail this, gosh, dare I say, you can kind of nail it with pre-ground coffee, a scoop, and using the markers on your AeroPress to get a pretty consistent brew every time. It won't be perfect, but you can kind of get the job done. So obviously using all the tools is better, but this is a very approachable way to brew coffee and I absolutely love the results. I hope you guys get to taste this coffee. It's an absolute gem. We do have a bunch of coffee coming from Kamwangi this year. We've got the AB lot, the AA and the P berry, and they're all spectacular. So happy brewing, happy drinking. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao.